Oh, look at that. We are way high up. Welcome to Dan's on this street. I'm Dan. Today we're back in South Africa, visiting the city of Cape Town here, way down south, at almost the southernmost point of Africa. Big city, about four and a half million people here. I'm excited to explore this as much as I can here. Let's drop right into what looks like the downtown area. Yeah, all right, we'll drop right in here and we will head out from there, okay? Let's just drop on a random street here. All right, we are looking at, let's see, August 2017. Start moving down the street here. Beautiful light coming in here, bright sunny day. Good amount of traffic out. Good variety of buildings. Hmm. Oh, very interesting. Already I'm enjoying this. I wonder what this place is here. That's kind of old. Four and a half million people. This is another big city. Wow, look at this building here. Hmm. Kind of interesting design around there. Look at this distant mountain here. The, the city is surrounded by big hills and mountains. We'll, we'll climb around them a bit, get a sense of the place. I like the work they did here on these crosswalks. Nice brickwork. This street looks like it's kind of close to vehicles. Well, well, maybe not. Kind of looks like a pedestrian only street. Interesting. This is an exciting city. I, I read that it was the name. It was named the best place in the world to visit back in like 2014 or something by the New York Times and a uh, British publisher. Just a uh, really high ranking, like, you know, if you want to visit somewhere you've never been, maybe, you know, consider, consider Cape Town. And uh, already I'm quite impressed. People have been living down in this part of the world, way far south in Africa here, going back thousands of years. I read that they found evidence of human presence here. Uh, in like some caves dating back oh, 15,000 years or so. Really like the look of this building here with the rounded corners. That's a really good style actually. I, I'm a big fan of that. Looks like a pretty good sized downtown. Medium skyscrapers, 20 stories, 30 stories, that kind of thing. Some lower level stuff too. Parking garages. Tons of businesses, business headquarters here, I'm sure. Beautiful days here. This looks like it's, yeah, a convention center. It's got that convention center look, right? The convention center in our city, or where I live, is like, has the same look to it, I swear. Pretty standard, I guess. Let's pop up, actually. Let's start getting a sense of this city as much as we can. Yep, there's the convention center. Okay, big port here, ships unloading and loading, shipping containers, everything you kind of expect from a port city. This has been a port city for ages, and um, a destination point as the explorers back in the 15, 1600s were exploring around ways to get to India. Let's check out the stadium here while we're down here by this part of town. Pretty great place. I read that this was built back in 2010 for the World Cup. And, oh, let's drop right in. Oh yeah, great view in here. Really nice stadium. Looks brand new here, even a few years later, as you'd expect, I suppose. Seats 55,000, decent size, really nice place. Definitely a fun place to come catch a soccer game. Some other stadiums around here. Maybe cricket there, looks like. Cape Town Sushi Festival. All right, I check that out. All kinds of parks all around here. Golf course. Let's drop into the Green Point Park. Oh, fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Can start getting a sense of these mountains here and hills. 
you enjoy climbing and hikes, the great outdoors, I mean, this is a city that's got it all. I'm always looking for a city that's got everything. That's like, I want a city that has oceans, or at least a big lake, mountains, variety of weather, you know, maybe not just hot, but get some seasons. And what else am I looking for? I don't know. Good sized population. And the city kind of has all of it, doesn't it? Like this, the city has it all going for it. And that's kind of cool. I mean, that's really cool and kind of rare. Let's drop down here by this, uh, this old lighthouse. I don't know if it's old, I guess, but I assume so. Let's see, there it is. I suppose that looks kind of old. Some brand new buildings here. Everyone enjoying these beachfront views. Just take that in. That's wonderful out there. Be great to go for a long walk around here. Look at that point up there. Man, I like hiking a bit, but I don't know if I could, I don't know if I'd go up there. That's pretty impressively high. Let's drop over here to Sea Point area. Just go down one of these streets. Crumbs and cream. Mmm, yummy. Really nice town. I read that there really was no, there's not a lot of written history about the area. Like they, they didn't discover any group that had been recording, uh, you know, written history. Goodness, is it bright. I mean, overexposed here. Oh, too bright. <laughs> Let's try another camera view here. That was crazy bright. Um, so the first real mention of the city that we have is from 1488, when a Portuguese explorer visited. Well, on the, they were trying to find ways to get to India. That was the whole thing. Um, people exploring this part of the world. A lot of it was trying to get to India, which they could get to on land uh, very difficultly, or with great difficulty. Um, this is so awesome down here, so pretty. Feed some birds, take some pictures, hang out on the beach. Mm. Very nice. And uh, yeah, I guess the explorers started realizing they could really make a trip around here, the southern point of Africa. And this became kind of an obvious destination. And a bunch of a bunch of European countries started stopping here, trading with locals. Sometimes it was peaceful. Sometimes they had some conflict with the groups that were here. Oh, sorry about that. Great view up here, this hillside. Super picturesque tour bus there maybe people out taking pictures reading plaques I love this rocky front here big ships out in the water so nice oh I would definitely be interested definitely be interested in vacationing here that'd be super neat I had a sister who visited here way back maybe 15 years ago. I remember her talking about it. Let's let's go right up here on the top of this place. Oh, look at that. We are way high up. Bunch of people up here. All right, well, maybe I, maybe I couldn't make it up here. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I'd certainly give it a shot. Great view of the city down there. There's the downtown a bit. Here's where we just were, I think, kind of over this part of town. All right, lots more to see here, lots to explore. I really am impressed though. Man, very cool. The actual city itself is quite flat, kind of for as hilly and mountainous as this all is. Um, seems like a lot of it, the streets are kind of flat and navigatable. Always seen those distant mountains though. Look at this old building here. 196 Victoria. Bright days. 
apartment buildings, offices, that kind of thing. When they first discovered the city, well, the, when the Portuguese discovered it, they called it the Cape of Storms. I guess it was really stormy down here. I suppose it still is. And later they called it the Cape of Good Hope uh, because they had a lot of hope about using it as a destination point and, uh, yeah, as a way of getting around to India. They started trading with locals. They were trading copper and iron and tobacco. New construction going up here. I always like seeing that. Woodstock Quarter. This place is definitely growing. Been booming for decades now. Some older buildings here. 1898, the Sir Lowry buildings. Very cool. All right. Yeah, this is an older street here. People have been walking down here for quite some time. Look at this. You can really get a little sense of what this, this town looked like back in the day. This one's still in pretty good shape. And of course, some newer stuff. Good mixture of vehicles here. Lots of new vehicles. Some older ones too. Old golf there or something. Um, yeah, and then back in 1652, uh, the, uh, the United East India Company, Dutch company, led by uh, Jan van Rybig, I'm not sure how to say his name, they established a way station for ships and really started ex to expanding, building a fort, I think, of some sort. Let's drop in over here. They also started uh, using slave labor, which is uh, kind of a, well, a sign of things to come here. So definitely some, some dark times in this city, even very painfully recently. Um, and then there was uh, a gold rush and diamond rush and all kinds of things during the 1800s. They established like their own parliament here back in 1854. So they, they wanted some independence because at some point then the British took over. They, they fought the Dutch and took it or something like that. Or they fought the French. Maybe the French had it. A little fuzzy on that. <laughs> um, but ultimately, the British got it, as they got in most places. And established a parliament. There's an airport here. Are we getting any sense of this place? A little bit. We're kind of in the northern part. There's this whole southern part here. There's this huge bay. All right, let's drop in one more place up here, and then we got to go start seeing that southern part portion. Looks like a big main road here. Do I want to see that? Hmm, I kind of want to see just like a neighborhood street here. Very nice. Actually, great vintage kind of mid-century styles here. Really like the look of that. Interesting. Yeah, and uh, of course, through all of this, it was it was a very uh, racially integrated city, um, very diverse, and that was all up until 1948, and then and then it went then it went bad. Um, so the National Party won, and they ran on a platform of apartheid, essentially segregation, and somehow they, somehow that, uh, I don't know, I don't know the politics of the time or the region exactly, uh, hardly at all, obviously, and um, so that, that brought great change, uh, or, you know, terrible change, but big change to the place, look at that, look at that. Epic waves here too. I'm sure there's all kinds of surfing. 
beautiful road here. Um, but yeah, they totally upended everything. And they classified the whole city according to race. And they so if you were non-white and living in a certain neighborhood, you might have your home literally destroyed and you were relocated to some other part of town. And that caused all kinds of problems outside of being just terrible to start with. Um, led to all kinds of gang issues. Um, really, really a terrible move. And by any measure. Um, I like the look of these places here too. People kind of parked on the sidewalk. Taurus Road. Lots of great homes here. Everything kind of low fenced in, medium fenced. Definitely some, definitely some older VWs here all around. Uh, that's interesting. Here's the main airport you'll probably land at. <clears throat> Golf course right there. There's a big area here set aside for farming, it looks like. That's kind of interesting. See all that? I think that's farming in there. Let's go down by Grassy Park. Sounds pleasant, I suppose. More homes. It's really flat in here. Again, for how mountainous around things get, very flat. I'm sure it's great for uh, bicycling or motorcycle. See a good number of pedestrians. It's also nice for pedestrians, I suppose. It's a little more sparse out in here. Kind of countryside almost for being essentially still in the city. Interesting. Well, all that apartheid eventually ended, I think in 1990 and I don't know. I need to read more of the history. Maybe I should. Well, if you know a good film about that era, a good documentary, I'd be interested in watching it. Um, let's drop in right here. This looks really pretty down here, doesn't it? Kind of lakes. Hmm. All kinds of places to get in the water, get a boat in the water. Kind of feels like outback country here. Love these trees. That was another thing those Dutch uh, explorers brought were all kinds of new vegetation, new plant life, grapes, potatoes, apples, other things like that that weren't native, you know, local, you know, native population or whatever, uh, no, local, local species, whatever, native species. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and so that, that probably changed everything and I think a lot of the species still exist today now Look at this big marina in here these are probably some expensive homes I would guess oh let's drop right up here in this little island or seems like an island maybe great place to go for a hike or walk epic beauty down here come on ah oh, yeah is there a prettier place on earth to take your dogs out for a walk? Like, come on, <laughs> that's amazing. Fantastic. Oh yeah, it does look like they put a little, little bridge or something. Yacht club, definitely some major money there. Let's go down by the beach. Sure. Oh yeah, oh wow. Look at that. I mean, really, really one of the most beautiful places I've seen. I, I don't just say that every time. <laughs> What's this guy doing? Um, uh, just stunning beauty. Very pretty. I like this building here, actually. This is really neat. Can we keep? Looked like there was a path we could actually go down on the beach. Possibly? Oh, yeah. 
ridiculously beautiful down here. Wide, wide beach. Imagine waking up early in the morning and uh, just going for a run down here. That would be fantastic. Love it. Um, definitely, definitely on my list of places I want to visit. All kinds of good things here. Huh. Let's go down by this pavilion, maybe. Oh, just drop right in the pavilion, maybe. Okay, busy day here. This is probably more common sight. We're getting those empty beach views there, but this looks about what you probably expect in peak season, I would guess. So pretty out here. The, the, the waves, you know, breaking so far out. It's great for kids here too. Wow, impressive, impressive place. Let's see another view over here. Maybe drive down this hill. Seemed like we we're on a hill. Oh, there's the beach over there. Actually, let's head up it. Just cruise around here a little bit. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, back in 1990, it all kind of that that closed and um, I'm sure we've all heard of Nelson Mandela he was freed from prison gave a speech from prison and yeah things have improved dramatically since then is, is what I've read at least this is so pretty here cool pool there look at that slide endless fun here But I hope things continue to improve. It seems like a, you know, it's got a lot of, a lot of potential. All right. So much we have not gotten to here. If you live in Cape Town, let me know some of your favorite places. I'll, I'll come down and check them out. I'm just kind of bouncing around here. Tons of residential areas. These homes obviously smaller. Clearly, it would seem to me, poor area. Interesting. Yeah, I'm sure they're still dealing with the fallout from those, uh, that terrible decision back in this, uh, the, the late 40s. Um, you don't just fix that in a decade or two. Interesting. Cheery, bright, painted buildings, though. At least, you know, trying to make the best of the situation here, it would seem to me. A school, it looks like. Daycare, maybe, but I assume a school. Looks like they have good electricity also here, so that's always... It's very important. More clear days, bright, clear skies. All right, a couple of places I saw mentioned I want to make sure I check out. Um, let's see. Cape Town City Hall. Just want to make sure we get to that. Oh yeah, back over here in the downtown area. Oh, here's this castle. All right, we got to check that out. I think that's one of the places they built way back early. Let's drive down here. This uh, city hall building is from 1905. Wow, what a place. What a beauty. Love it. I read the stone they used from this. They actually shipped in from England. Fantastic views here. Big statue, super touristy. Tons of statues here. Monuments. Cool place though. Really neat. And then here, oh yeah, okay. This I think this might date back to that 
uh, period from 1650. I could be wrong, uh, but it's something, something early here. Look at this place. Castle of Good Hope. Neat. 17th century, yep. All right. Definitely a place I would explore. Spend a day there, maybe, learning all about that. Interesting. Here's a big train station, it looks like. Let's drop down around there. Really nice downtown here, super pretty. Tons of buildings. Tons of stores, big Samsung back there. People selling stuff just everywhere. Lots of shopping. Hmm. Let's jump up here. So I'm running out of time here. I wanna see this, it's called Table Mountain. And uh, let's see. Oh, here it is, Table Mountain. Oh, there's a cable way. Nice. You can kind of get a sense of why it's called Table Mountain here, I assume, from the flat top nature of it. Definitely a cool place to explore. Look at these lakes up here in the mountain even. That's really neat. Waterfall up here. Oh, what a sight. What a place. We can even move around up here. How cool is this? Oh, this is almost terrifying. <laughs> We're really right on the edge here. If these boulders ever win, you know, trouble for people up top and down below there. There again, the view of the downtown, the port, and the rest of the city, I guess, is off to the right or behind us a bit. This is such a neat path up here. So wonderful that this, this is all mapped here in Google. Thank you to them, that's really neat. More of that, please. I always advocate for. Um, super neat up here. I mean, what a, I'm not sure what happened geologically that this was left here flat. Was the rest of the land at one point this high up? Possibly. I, I guess that would be my guess. This is eroded away. Such cool peaks all in here. Before we leave here, I want to drop down to this real kind of southernmost point of all this. Down by this lighthouse. Great views back at everything. This is really my kind of place. And I'm not just saying that, this is really fantastic. I'm extremely impressed. Love the history here. Well, not the darker parts of it, I suppose, but I love how historic it is. And the, the beauty of the nature here. I love how many people are here too. It's a really good sized place. There's that little lighthouse down there. Just seems like an awesome place to live, to visit, to explore. And, um, goodness, I hope I get here someday. I really do. I think I'd have a great time. Um, spent a lot of time exploring around here, but I'm gonna have to wrap this up. All right. Ah, oh, had a great time here. For now that I'm gonna add it to my map. It's so great to get back in, uh, this part of the world. Need to get back and spend a lot more time in Africa. Obviously, um, it's, well, I don't know if it's obvious. It's obvious to me because I spent a lot of time doing this, but uh, it's not very well mapped. And South Africa is really well mapped, thankfully. So I, no excuse not to come back here again. Um, I was up in Pretoria recently. Definitely check out that video if you enjoyed this. For now though, there's a little pin. I'll be back there, I promise. There's still a lot of good sites that can be explored even with limited mapping. And check out some of my other videos. Been all around the world. All right, till next time.